I can say, uh, to sort of just keep things simple, like it was basically a big dialogue within myself to sort of define who I am as a musician. I started sort of thinking about whether or not I can legitimately call myself a musician if I'm just out there DJing or, you know, playing loops and things. And so my personal journey became about wanting to take instruments on stage and, you know, play those instruments, practice those instruments. It's basically a personal challenge to want to get out there and perform as a musician and improvise and jam. What that entails for me personally is an electron machine drum, an electron A4, a Moog Minotaur, and an iPad in a Behringer iStudio dock. And everything synced up uh, via MIDI. Basically a combination of some sort of pre-sequenced loops and beats, and then a, a, a fair amount of jamming and improvisation. I wouldn't say DJ's been sort of the focal point of my music career. It's, it's more been about wanting to be a producer, a musician, a composer. I started DJing the year I finished high school. We would take a suitcase full of records and go play at this uh, industrial punk club. The very first official release was with a label called Smile out of New York, run by a drum and bass DJ named DB. And I began sending them demos, uh, I guess around 1996. I must have sent him about 300 CDs. You know, back in the day when you couldn't email your demo, you had to burn a CD, put it in an envelope, go to the post office and mail it. And, uh, you know, I think he basically finally realized Brendan is determined to make this happen so I kept sending him stuff and then finally he was like okay I think we're finally getting somewhere you can only really show people how serious you are by just doing what you do without needing their permission to do it or their acceptance you you're gonna do it no matter what and that's something that I think really like ultimately is what keeps you going is if you're doing it for yourself and you're not looking for for any other justification to be there, you know. Persevere, wanting to make yourself better, evolve and grow. When people even send me demos from my own label, like, you send me one demo and then you expect to hear back from me and give you, you know, some sort of info. But you've only given me one demo, like, show me what you're about like you know people that will keep sending me demos uh, you know there's something to be said for perseverance because it shows like that somebody is really committed to making things happen and i've had people like be like i sent you a demo when you were a and r guy at wave music and you never got back to me like how dare you and i'm like well maybe you only sent one demo like how of all the demos coming in how am i gonna Right, right, right. You know, if, if you don't keep showing me that you're interested in this. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.